Y'all want this look? Bumblebees, Tyler the Creator. Keep watching. Three hours of sleep. <laughs> That's why I got my base on already. Y'all can't even tell. Welcome back. So, I want to do a look today inspired by uh, the Flower Boy album by Tyler the Creator. Let me find a picture of the album art. I'll put it right here. That work? Yeah. Uh, I also have just so many things I have to try out. I feel guilty if I don't use certain things. Little Beauty sent their new melted shadows in this fanny pack. Who's this fanny pack for? This don't fit me. I can't. This is not new. But I'm obsessed. But I might try something new. I don't know. Thank you, Purish, for this palette. Thank you, Purish, for this palette. Thank you, Purish, for this palette. A bunch of other people. I'm so grateful. If brands could start just sending the products and just the palettes themselves, like Listen Cosmetics, they just sent their palette and this little thing right here, and that is perfect. You know, with the big dogs, like ABH, they sent their beautiful PR packages, and <laughs> bitch, you know I love a presentation. <laughs> Pero tengo una cantidad de basura en mi casa and um, that's not good for the planet. I think people were misunderstanding me when I was talking about that on Instagram. Some people were responding to my story, venting about it, saying, oh, if you don't want the stuff, like, send it to me. First of all, I don't know you. Second, who, who doesn't want, who doesn't want free? gifted products. All this extra packaging and money that goes into it, just unnecessary. I believe it's unnecessary. All, all that all that money that wasted on your presentation, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but that could go into the quality of your product. And um, with that being said, let me get started on this look. Be Perfect Cosmetics. The Carnival Palette with Stacey Marie, the makeup artist who is amazing. I want to use this because a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people have this palette and it was gifted to me. So and it has all the colors I want to use. So I'm going to take Lit and I'm going to use this, what is this? It's a setting brush from Real Techniques. Oh, that's pigmented. red huh <laughs> what would the Sykes box say about this that lit shade it's on the red side I moved on to the Sykes box <laughs> tic tac from the Sykes box now a red to yellow gradient kind of like a sunset but it's not gonna be in that order it's gonna be wherever I want it So when I was younger, I used to watch a new movie every weekend, every weekend in the theater. Now I don't know shit about movies anymore. So I've been trying to get into watching movies again. So Shireen doesn't yell at me. I've been watching like Sundance and um, Cannes Film Festival movies. Call Me By Your Name with Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet. The movie made me cry. Tears running down my face! And it's a beautiful movie, so go watch it. I wanted to try the Huda Beauty Melted Shadows today. I wanted to use one or two of them for this look. I have not heard good reviews about them so far from other people who have received them. I, I have to try them for myself, so we'll see. There's a light blue one that I want to use for this look. We'll use them somewhere in here. Using Glow, it's that yellow from the Sykes box.
Really, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I don't want the shadow to cover my face completely. I don't want there to be really any symmetry to this. Just going for it, man. I'm gonna use a little bit of the red. It's called the mask. I definitely need to put more on my eye because I'm starting to look like Donald Trump. And that ain't it. Somebody commented on my last video saying to add ads to my video and I'm able to monetize my videos now, but God, I look like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I'm not, what am I doing? But they said, please monetize your videos so you can buy your mom that house. Is it not a dream to pay your parents back? That is the true dream to me. If you have a great relationship with your parents, of course, they've done everything for me. My mom, I mean, both my parents have suffered. But my mom, Ooh, I'm in a millionaire mind frame right now. I don't even make anywhere near six figures. Oh my God. Yellow. Ah. I honestly look like I have. I'm having an allergic reaction. Let me intensify that orange a little more. I don't even know if this is a tutorial at this point because um, I'm not really telling you guys what to do anymore. Let me throw some pink in there. It really looks like my eczema is flaring up. More, more orange. <laughs> Hello, this is an announcement to please trust the process. Every time you guys put your trust in me, it works out. I'm putting concealer in my brows because I'm going to go for... Because I'm going to go for a bleached brow. So I want to draw realistic looking clouds on my face. I've done clouds, but not realistic looking. It will be a new process for all of us on here. Okay, I think I'm going to use this brush right here. It's one of the Royal and Lagnical brushes with the golden taplon bristles. I'm using the liquid aqua color. I'm scared. So I'm just dabbing this paint, but the way I'm dabbing kind of gives the look of a cloud already. We'll see. That's a reach. My dad wants so badly for me to just do, <laughs> every time I talk to him, he's like, hey, I saw your last look and wh where would you wear something like that? I don't know. And I, and I have to explain it to him. Everything we put on our faces does not necessarily need to be worn out. He completely disregards everything I said. And then he says, you know, just throw in a natural look in there. Just, you know, cater to all the people. like." That, then I did a look with like barely any makeup on. Then he says, you know, just do a little more maybe. Just maybe a brown, a brown eye that, you know, is wearable. Just give the people what they want. No! What do you know, dad? I care about you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me life. I'm gonna bring that a little lower. fill that in with whatever's left over my brush okay i'm gonna add a little more i don't want it too opaque because the very opaque areas are gonna be peaks on the clouds and we're gonna add some shadowing and yeah dimension right sorry guys i don't know terminology i just kind of know what i'm doing not to brag <laughs> So I mixed some purple water activated face paint, some blue and a little bit of the white, and I'm going to uh, try and achieve some shadows for my cloud. I'm using a flatter paintbrush. And yeah, here we go. Come on, come on.
See, look, it came together a little. Some more white. It is not done yet, my friends. More peakage. I spit it everywhere when I said that. Damn, I gotta do a cloud on the other side too. And I wanna draw a flower and a bee. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long boy. Um, I'm gonna do this on the other side now. Uh, well now I kind of know what I want to do. Hopefully it will go by quicker. Make this bee man okay okay okay, 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 okay. so i didn't really i've never drawn a bee so i'm taking this yellow water activated face paint from creoline and i'm saturating my brush i guess i'm gonna do a base for the bee in all yellow if i did it in black of course putting the yellow over the black would just, just be a disaster dennis said i should put it under here I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to take some black. This is where I f up. I know it. At the edge where the black meets the yellow, I'm going to do tiny little hair like strokes. Yeah, this is way easier on my face than it was on paper. And so what I did was starting the next area of black, I just started that with hair like strokes. Fill it in, and then wherever I stop, do hair like strokes again. belly down here so I'm just adding a little shadow
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some little strokes of white just to highlight any hairs, highlight the bee's little legs. Let's hope this works out. <laughs> just gonna work on that later. Here's your little eyes. <laughs> oh God, here we go with these wings. Um, where else will I put a bee? Maybe on my forehead. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh, oh Jesus. She a little top heavy, but what do I do next? This feels incomplete. Ashy ass brown color. I wanted it to be warmer, but you know what? I, I just want to get through with this. So I'm making a big fat circle with little feathered edges. This was not a good decision. <laughs> I'm gonna put gloss on. Done with this. I'm just gonna add some of that purple beneath my brow. <laughs> We're done. Don't look at that. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys learned how to draw some clouds and some top heavy bees. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully this video is in, yeah, it is. it's gonna be like 30 minutes long. I feel it, I feel it in my bones. If you try these clouds out, let me know. If you make these bumblebees, let me know. Don't let me know about the flower, just don't. Thank you for watching. It was a long boy, my friends. Hopefully I get this up. Um, within the next two months. Catch you later. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>